Welcome back to the Roger Sergeant Podcast, where we talk all things Army. And I'm your host, Sergeant Cruz. And today, we're talking about the Alleret that dropped 11 July 2024, and it's the new Army Body Fat Assessment for the Army Body Composition Program. And without further ado, let's get started. Roger Sergeant! All right, guys. So as I said earlier, what we're going to talk about today is the body composition Alarac that came out this month on, a, on the 11th of this month. All right. Um, before we get started real fast, let's start with the shout outs. Always love the shout outs. First shout out goes to Sexy Mexi Am D. And she writes, thank you for sharing. And this is in reference to the NCOE, our support form video that I dropped a long time ago, and it's still helping people out. So you're very welcome. Next shout out goes to Kai, Kai Anthony 8077 And this is in reference to the Project 2025 video. If you haven't seen that video, you might want to go ahead and take a look. I'll post it up here. But uh, they talk about the further privatization of the VA support process is incredibly dangerous, especially if you read the mandate section of on healthcare in general. Read, ladies and gentlemen. And if you need to know what to read and where to find it, just go to that video and you go to the Google in the description, the Google Drive, and it'll have that mandate in there. Next shout out goes to Sutio Pepe. 7698. I hope I said that right. And Studio says, Whoa, I recommend everyone go to the Project 2025 and download a copy of their mandate for leadership for yourself. This is crazy dangerous. I'm telling you, read it. Um, I put the video out, listen to the video, um, sh share your opinions, make your own uh, thought process. Uh, but this is a hot topic for real. Last shout out goes to Cato Media 8177. And this is in reference to the retention program or the retention that we're having an issue with. Thank you for your video. Thank you for this video. I've been out for eight years and about to get back in. Not a lot of options I have for working outside the Army. Yes, uh, that happens a lot, actually. A lot of individuals get out. They, um, they do their thing outside. And then they find their way back in. And we accept them because we want you guys. Um, we need you guys. We want you guys. And uh, hopefully uh, it works out for you. All right. And then um, I think the next thing I want to do is let's go into the uh, screen share real fast. Uh, and those of you who are watching on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I need you guys to subscribe and like and comment. And if you're, watch and if you're listening on the podcast, go ahead and download and leave a review. And you might want to head to the... Um, YouTube portion whenever you get a chance so you can see what we're talking about and uh, just a quick shout out to my to these uh, to you guys the subscribers in the last uh, month and that's gonna be going all the way down to whoa where are we at Ashley Figueroa D Taco good guy uh, Danny Sethlon Cassandra Lauer TikTok Hernandez uh, Kelvin Britt Jasmine Brantley Matthew Blocks Fruit Clarence Walker, Joseph Garza, Maith Avalos, Paul C, Afrik Afro, Sexy Mexi, I am D, uh, Enrique Rodriguez, Mark B, Daniel Daniela Padilla, uh, Merv One, Junior Ancelet, Ancleto, Anacleto, uh, and Joe the Geographer, and um, Jose C Perez. Hey, shout out to you guys! I appreciate you guys um, stopping by and um, subscribing, man is way to help the channel grow. So let's get into the agenda. What we're talking about today is the Alarac 053 slash 2024. And uh, we're going to be discussing the one site test. We're going to talk about the implementation guidance. We're going to look at the ABCP revisions, and then we'll do a quick conclusion. All right. So let's get into it. So Alarac 05 2024 was just released 11 July 2024. And um, you'll see the subject here is the notification of new Army body fat assessment for the Army body composition program. And we're going to skip all the way down because a lot of you, if you watch my TikTok, you already see that I talk about this. But this is going to show you 
how the new revision is coming. All right. So the purpose is um, to provide notice that AR 600-9 is being revised. Therefore, effective 9 June 2024, which I told you guys before, the one site circumfer based tape test method, tape method, and supplemental body fat fat assessment are the only authorized methods for measuring body composition and see attachment one. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Their procedural modifications to AR 600-9 are in the implementing guidance of this Allerat C attachment one. And we will look at that as the podcast progresses. Applicability. Um, this message applies to all regular army, U.S. Army Reserve, Army National Guard, Army National Guard of the United States. And um, as you guys already know, that the, if you're in the Guard or if, if you're not an active component, you're going to get your own Alarax signed by your uh, commanding chief or whoever it is that signs it. But it applies to you as always. And, and the situation is, pursuant to AD 2311, the only U.S. Army authorized method of estimating body fat are the one, t- one site circumference based tape method and supplemental body fat assessment. I'm not sure why I can't say that, but for some, but you guys already know. So as you guys are tracking, this has been going on for the past 12 months. You had the option to want, if you failed this test, then you go back to the, to the three point. And, um, yeah, now we're, we're hundred percent in it. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. You don't get to go into the um, in, in back and forth. You just do this one site tape test. Okay, so here's the implementation guidance, right? Um, as you will see here, it says pursue. We're going to just read the highlights, mainly the stuff that I found important. If you guys want to read the entire Alarat, I will leave it in the description. And as you just click on it, go in the Google Drive and download it. So pursuant to reference one echo, which is Army Body Fat Assessment, Body Com- Composition Program. Um, yeah, effective 9 June 2024 is being incorporated into reference one's Charlie, and you read it again. All Army components, so all compos, will utilize the one site, which is at the abdomen, body circumference tape method and corresponding calculation model for males and females, respectively. We will see what that is further down the line. So it doesn't matter where you are. This is what you're going to use. So soldiers who successfully completed the multi-site circumference-based tape test within eight months for Compo 1 and 14 months for Compos 2 and 3 as of 9 June do not need to redo it. So if you are... Compo one and two and three, there are certain things that you have to adhere to. So real quick, just so we have a good understanding of what each compos are, where are we at? Why can't I pull the safari up? Uh, yeah, so just so we have a good idea of what they are. So compo, compo one is going to be the United States. Uh, hold on. Let's get that out of the way. Yep. So. Compo 1 is going to be active duty. Compo 2 is going to be the Army National Guard. And Compo 3 is the United States Army Reserve. So this is just for your situational awareness so you can understand what it means. So active duty, you have 8 months. Everyone else, 14 months from the time. After that, you're just going to go to the one-site tape test as you would any other time that you're going to have to do height and weight. So the next thing is soldiers who qualify for the 540 plus Army Combat Fitness Test Exemption under Reference 1 will only be required to fill out their name, rank, height, weight on the form. So it's pretty much just your admin data. You don't have to take measurements. You don't have to do anything else. And you just fill that out. They upload it to DTMS and it is going to automatically trigger once you hit the 540 that you don't have to have all the, the 5500, 5501s, um, what are they called, filled out. So the forms provide a box to initial if the soldier meets the 540 plus Army Combat Fitness Test Body Fat exception, Assessment Exemption. 
Um, so next is going to be all soldiers who fail the first tape test and follow on confirmation tape test assessments are authorized to request subject to the appropriate commander's determination of reasonable availability. You can, you can, um, so request a supplemental body fat assessment through the dual energy X ray absorptiometry. So that's the DXA in body 770. And that's a bioelectrical impedance analysis or the bod pod. So what are these? I guess that's the question. Um, real quick, those of you, like I said, those of you who are watching on YouTube, you're going to see it. Those of you who are not go to YouTube or just listen up. So the DXA bone scan, it just measures bone density. It's quick and painless way to check your bone health. It's sim it's, it's similar to an x-ray, but measures the strength and mineral contents in your bones instead of just taking pictures of them. Right? So it's going to just test your bone density to see, <laughs> it's going to see if you're big boned it. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh man. I apologize. It's just checking to see if you're big boned it. So you can't use bone, big boned it as, as an excuse. That's what they're saying. Uh, the in bod in body 770 is a 60 second test that quickly measures fat mass, muscle mass and body water. Right? So it's, um, auto calibrated. It's user friendly and non adhesive testing is fast and easy. Just stand on the device and hold the electrodes with in each hand. So that's the in body 770 option. Then you have the bod pie, which you'll find at any army wellness center. And this thing will humble the living crap out of you. I'll tell you that much. If you think you're in shape, if you think that you're, oh yeah, I'm at 19%, 18%, 12% body fat, man, you go in there, it'll humble you. But yes, uh, the bod pod is a computerized X shaped device that measures your weight and volume to determine your bo your body density and calculate your percentage of body fat. So ladies and gentlemen, these are the three options that you're seeing when they say, Hey, you have the option to, to, to request a supplemental, uh, body fat assessment. So now this has to be done within a reasonable time, right? So you fail the first tape, you go get a confirmation tape. You fail that as well. You get your counseling. You tell the, the commander, hey, I want to do this test. And you have a reasonable time, which we'll discuss later. And then these are the three options that you have. So pursuant to implementing the guidance, uh, the request to take a supplemental body fat assessment must be made by the soldier at the time they are formally being counseled by their commander for failing the tape test, as I just said, and confirming tape test. So once you fail both of them, any decision to opt out of a supplemental body fat assessment is final at the time of counseling. So if you were counseling, you get all in your feelings and you're like, nah, I don't want to do that. Then you're just screwing yourself because at the end of the day, you're going to get flagged and then you're going to be held to the uh, standard, right? So... Commanders may grant an extension, an extension up to 60 days to provide the supplemental body fat results in the event that the supplemental assessment resources are not easily acceptable, accessible or available. And this is the 60 day grace period. So, I mean, you'll be flagged for 60 days. However, you'll be able to take that uh, assessment. And then if it proves that you are below the percentage, then you're good to go. So if a soldier is found to be in compliance, I don't know. My bad. I, I read it. I got it. I, I understand it. And I'm just talking about it. But I also want to read it to you guys so you guys know that I am not making it up. But again, I'm just getting ahead of myself. Um, if a soldier is found to be in compliance with AR 600-9 based on their supplemental assessment results, their flag will be removed and they will not be enrolled into the Army Body Fat Composition Program. The soldier's results will be valid until their next record height and weight screening or body fat. Upon completion of an approved passing supplemental body fat assessment, the soldier's DA705, um, their scorecard, will reflect the GO result for their body fat and be recorded in DTMS. 
So once it's all said and done, if it takes you 60 days, that 705 stays open pretty much like a counseling without a follow-up. It stays open. You, you wait until your body fat um, comes back, your results. And if you're good, they'll mark go. They'll, they'll keep it going in um, DTMS. They'll upload it. And then you don't have to worry about being enrolled in the body fat um, program. But if your ass fails it, you're just going on the ABCP and you're going to be doing special pops with everyone else that's on it. So just understand that. Um, let's move into the revisions. This is this is probably where everything uh, gets really, really good. Uh, I have a couple notes here, so bear with me on this. Uh, here we go. So here it is. Attachment one. So if you look at it, it says implementing guidance for AD 23-11 body fat testing procedures for ABCP. And it looks just like the regulation. It's just that they're going to pull the other one out and put this one in there. And they're giving you this information up front because it's hot as of 9 June or 8 June, one of the two. I always forget, but it's hot as of last month. And in order to ed eloquently be able to apply this regulation to your tr troops, you have to have the written guidance. And here it is. Um, some things not really change too much, but like when you talk about the, the height and weight measurements, uh, when measuring the height to use for height and weight screening, uh, see table Bravo 1, the soldier's height is measured to the roundest and then round it to the nearest inch and the following guidelines. And, and then it talks about the guidelines, right? If the height fraction is less than half inch, round down to the nearest whole number. If it's greater then round up to the nearest whole number, we already knew that uh, the measurement will be made on scales available. So this is when you're weighing them uh, to the nearest pound. So if the fraction is less than half a pound, you round down. And if it's more than a half a pound, you round up. Um, if we look at the table, Bravo 1, nothing has changed because I even went to look at it for the 40 pluses and I'm still ad adhering to, what am I, uh, 70 inches, adhering to 192. I'm way under that. I'm 175 on a bad day, on a bad week or bad month. But yes, so pretty much, hold on, 69, uh, no, I'm sorry, 70 is 510, yep. So, yeah, so you look at that, nothing has really changed there. Um, let's look at, let's go further down. We go to Bravo 2, maximal, maximal, maximum allowable percentage body fat standards. And we still have the age groups, male and female body fats, still in increments of 2, 20, 22, 24, 26. And then for females, 30, 32, 34, 36. Nothing has really changed there. Now, if we go further down, here we go. So here's the big change, it's slash addition, whatever you want to call it. It's the description of the circumference site and its anatomical landmarkers and techniques. This is when you put the tape on their navel and do what you need to do. So all circumferences... All circumference measurements will be taken three times and recorded to the nearest half inch. Nothing's changed there, right? You still do the three times. Uh, each sequential measurement should be within one inch of the previous one or the next one. We do we did that. If measurements are with are within the one inch of each other, derive a math mathematical average to the nearest half inch. Got it. If any one of the three measurements differ by more than an inch take an additional measurement, then average the three closest measurements, okay? So you take another one, not 15 more. You don't have to redo it. Take another one, and that should be good. And at that point, <laughs> it's 20. <laughs> at that point, man, I'm sorry to say this. At that point is when people either pull really hard or or have it really loose. It's so, you know, because I don't know. It's just the way it is, man. People want to make that uh, measurement right, and they don't want to stay there all day long. Probably not the right answer, but it's the answer that I've seen. All right, so for males, complete three abdominal circumference measurements. For females, do the same. And then you're going to go down, and then you'll do the 5500s, 
as you'll see, uh, let me go back over here real fast. Uh, here we go. So if you look at, yeah, Bravo 3 is a is a whole cheese and rice. Yeah, so this is way different than what it was before, right? Uh, yep. So instructions for the 5500, you'll see that it's very much condensed before you had instructions. You had step one, two, three, four, all the way down to step seven. If you'll see it because it was all three measurements that you had to take and it was a lot now it's step one through four and you guys can read on that i'm not going to sit here i'm already boring you enough by reading and explaining but i would suggest you guys go in there and um and and check what you need to check because there's the 5500 and 5501s have changed um yep let's keep going same thing for the for the females step one through four now if you look at these uh sites just like before you had the pictures and you can see where this tape is supposed to go same thing male and female navel is the belly button that's where it said i can't highlight it but yes it says navel equals belly button same thing for the females and if you'll notice here, they still have their shirts on, male and female still have their shirts on. So you shouldn't have to take your shirt off. By reg, if I go by what I see in the daggone uh, picture, you never have your shirt off. The same thing with the old reg. People used to make the dudes take or male soldiers take their uh, shirts off. You didn't really have to because all you have to do is cover it up. But I don't know. It's just the way it is, right? So shirts don't really have to come off. And then if we go through Bravo 4... All the way down to Bravo, what is it? Seven, eight. All this stuff is 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 not a thing, right? Because they're talking about abdomen, they're talking about all all this other. Yeah, they're talking about all this other stuff. So let's oh wrong one. Let's take a look at what we Oh no, here we go. So Bravo See, this is the old one. You see how the neck, and then you see how the the abdomen never have the shirt off, male or female. So here we go. You see how that changes? Bravo 4, it says neck and abdomen. Bravo 5, neck, waist, and hips, because we're talking about landmarks for male and females. Now, all of that is just scrunched down into abdomen, period, right, for male and females. I'm not sure why they even have two separate ones because they they're almost if not if i'm not mistaken when i read it they're e exactly the same so i would have just put circumference sites and landmarks for males and females but they just kept bravo 5 in there they didn't really need bravo 5 but whatever that's just ugh, me just venting so bravo 6 is the preparation and if you'll see bravo 6 the old school one it, it's just different because obviously we're not using this table anymore. We're using the new one. So go in there and read just so you know how to apply it. Still have the the supplemental body fat assessment, Bravo 7 and uh, Bravo 7. Here we go. Where is it at? That's it. It doesn't have Bravo 7 in the old one. So if you're understanding, Bravo 7 is the supplemental body fat and it walks you on how to use it and then bravo 8 is the same thing walks you how to do that as well so going down to the last part well second to last part it's the a biggest change you'll see the 2023 calculated percent body fat for male then they have the female at the bottom it's abdominal circumference by inches and then it's body weight and that's by pounds so before it would be circumference and height, so it's no longer that, okay? So that's a huge difference. And then you have your red, green, amber um, zones and where you need to be. Females have the same thing. All right, lastly, last thing that you're going to see here is the Army Body Composition Supplemental Body Fat Counseling. 
example. So literally all you got to do for all those guys and girls that exceed and they need to do the supplemental uh, body fat counseling, I mean the supplemental body fat portion, here's your counseling. All you have to do is just plug and play and that's pretty much it for that. So that was a lot, I know, uh, but I just need you guys to understand what's going on out here. Uh, that was about 26 minute hold cheese and rice. I didn't know it was going to be that long. But yes, the Army one site uh, circumference tape test, it just emphasizes its effectiveness in providing a more accurate and efficient method for assessing physical fitness in the body composition amongst every soldier. So when you test it, it's, it's literally one, it's, it's, it's meant to be simple, time efficient, and easily uh, adhered to. Uh, so with the successful implementation of the of this test, it reflects the Army's commitment to modernizing fitness um, and fitness assessments and ensuring that soldiers maintain optimal physical conditioning. So last thing is like, comment, subscribe, download, leave a review. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and um, email me at rogersarn at gmail.com. Click on the link tree in the description if you want to look at any of my social medias. Join the Discord so you can drop any type of information that you want to do there. Um, I'm actually starting to get into it now. I'm, I'm old, so I really don't understand too much of it. But at the end of the day, you always got to know that you don't have to embrace the suck if you got the right tools in your ruck. I'm Sarn Cruz, and I'm out. Peace. Roger Sarn! Thank you.